What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl. I'm Ani Angelina and I'm here with another video for you guys. First thing that I want to say is don't forget November 28th, I am having my marketing and branding webinar. So if you need assistance in marketing and branding, which if you have a business, you should be there. Every few months, there's new ways and new strategies that come out to help businesses thrive. And if you are in the process of launching a business or starting a business, you need to know all the ins and outs when it does come to marketing and branding. And if you already have an existing business, there is more for you to learn. So never think that you know it all. Without having the knowledge in marketing, you're gonna have a difficult time actually being able to sell your products. With me, if you guys don't know, I own a hair company and it took me literally six weeks to get my first sale when I originally launched my company back in 2017. And the reason it took me so long is because I had zero knowledge in marketing, a branding, or even just being a business owner. So it took me time to gain knowledge it took me so much research it took me spending so much money on mentors and classes and things like that until someone finally pointed me in the right direction i came from a family that literally corporate america jobs no one stood stepped outside the box and actually started their own business and look at me now i am literally the only person in my family who has started a business has touched as much money as I've touched by strictly running my own company. And it literally takes money to make money. So I do want you guys to be there for this webinar. I have tons of amazing information. I've done so much research for you guys and I'm definitely ready to trans transfer that information to you all and allow this allow the information that I retain to now help you all with your business. So I definitely do plan on seeing you guys there November 28th. If you are interested in getting a ticket, check the description box. Everything is there for you. Or if you just want to read more or learn more about the webinar, you can hit the link as well. This video, as you can see from the title, is going to be about pricing your products. Pricing your products is extremely important. Me, really quick backstory, when I started my company, I had a difficult time because I was undercharging my customers to the point where I wasn't making money. I was making what I thought was money, but it wasn't essentially profit. So for the longest time, I was like, where is this money going? Like I'm making these orders, but I'm not seeing my bank account looking how I want it to look. So I had to dive back into the whole research and classes and mentors and things like that to figure out what essentially I was doing wrong. So this video is just going to be a super brief video for you guys to help pinpoint what could be wrong or those of you who have doubts about how to price your products. So the first thing that the first thing that you all need to know is essentially how much does each product offer? I'm going to talk about what I do just because it's what I have the most knowledge in and it's also my niche, but with a hair extension company, I had to figure out how much each bundle costs. So that's the very first thing. You need to figure out how much each product costs from the actual manufacturer or the actual actual vendor. From that point, you need to you need to decipher a lot of different variables into the equation. I'm going to call it. And what I mean by that is you need to go in and figure out. Okay, am I paying for shipping? And if so, how much additional am I paying for shipping? Am I going to be charged a PayPal fee? You need to incorporate all of that into the cost of the product. So if you're, for instance, ordering a product for $20 from your direct vendor, not only are you gonna pay $20 to get that one piece of hair sent to you from your vendor, they're also gonna charge you a shipping fee. And we're just gonna keep it simple because shipping fees from overseas right now is out the roof, out the mother. But we're just going to keep it simple and say $20. So let's say the shipping cost from China to the U.S. is $20. So right now, your bottom line has just arisen to $40. So not only has it risen to $40, we also have to incorporate tax. A lot of these overseas vendors use utilize PayPal. So PayPal has a 5% chargeback. So if I did the equation really quickly in my head, that puts us at an additional $2 charge if we're incorporating the PayPal fee. So our bottom line has now risen to $42. So at this point, we've incorporated our cost of goods, which is the hair, for $20, our shipping costs 
from China to, to our doorstep, which is another $20. So that's at 40. And then we've also incorporated our PayPal fee, which is an additional $2 because there's a 5% fee. So right now that one bundle costs us exactly $42. So at this point, we need to figure out, okay, how much do I need to upsell this in order to make a reasonable profit, but still be affordable for but still allow this product to be affordable to my customers. And this is where it can get a little fun and also repetitive because this is where the equation comes in at. Because at this point you need to figure out what your markup percentage is. I recommend you have a markup percentage of over 50%. I say that is because if you charge over 50%, you're essentially making double what the product costs you. So at this point, we have a cost and then we also have a markup percentage. So let's say we're just gonna use the example as the 50% markup, even though I always recommend going higher than the 50% markup, just so that you make a reasonable profit. And I'm gonna put the equation somewhere on this screen so you guys, you know, you can have it for a later date. You would take that cost and add it to your markup percentage to get your price. If we plugged what we were just talking about into this exact equation, it would look something like $42 plus a 50% markup would give us the total of $63. And that's what we would then sell our product for. Are you here with me? I want, you, I want, us, to, I want us to be on the same page with everything. Now, when it does come to mark up percentages, I have realized with my company and with my vendor, I can go, I can range anywhere from 50%, which I don't, but I can range anywhere from 50% all the way up to around the 68% mark to stay affordable for my clientele or for my customers. That works for me. Every vendor or every manufacturer has different prices, different, different things that you need to plug in as far as getting the cost for your products maybe you have to pay something additional that i wouldn't have to pay so your bottom line might start at a higher cost or you know it, it all depends for what exactly you're selling if you're selling lip gloss for instance you want to incorporate everything that every ingredient that is used in your lip gloss as your cost so your, your, your bottom line cost would be a little different from mine. I know this can be a little bit confusing, but I just don't want you guys to go in and just start slapping prices on things without really sitting sitting and creating the correct price log for or the correct price structure for your business. Because the correct price structure for your business would allow you to save, would allow your business bank account to continue to grow, and honestly would allow you to be less stressed out, okay? So I definitely do hope this equation works for you. I really want you to grab a pen and paper and actually sit and utilize this equation to the best of your abilities. If you do have any questions or if you do need additional assistance, I do have a video on this already on my website, amanijelina.co. So if you guys do want a very, very heavily detailed video on this, there is a video that I created specifically for pricing that goes into more into depth okay and when i say more into depth i'm talking about bundle deals i'm talking about implementing website fees into the cost so that you're literally not paying out of pocket for every anything in your business is literally paying for the upkeep of itself if you do want the 45 minute video on that, it is on amanijelina.co. I'll have it in the description box for you. But I do hope this video was beneficial to you guys. Like I said, it can be super confusing, but it is so worth it once you do have the correct price structure for your business. It will help tremendously, okay? I love, love, love each and every one of you. And I will see you guys at my webinar because you're gonna be there. You're gonna be there. And if you need tickets, the tickets, you can find that in the description box as well. But otherwise, until next time, and I will see you later. Mwah.